Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This cataract appears like a posterior polar cataract. And I am going to take some precautions which is usually taken in a case of posterior polar cataract. The main incision has been made. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away an air bubble is injected to fill up the interior chamber beneath this air bubble tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule to have better contrast and to make the rexis easy, the tripon blue dye has been applied. The dye is washed out. And then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is applied to fill up the anterior chamber. The SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now, Utrita forceps is being used for rexis. The anticapsule is torn. Capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 mm. Now, hydro dissection will not be done. So, I am going into the substance of the nuclear lens matter and injecting and this is a hydro delineation ring. Did hydro delineation at another place and the nucleus is not rotated. And now the FECO handpiece is used to manage the nucleus. The idea is to remove the nucleus and if piscirant occurs, it should occur at the last moment. No piece, no nuclear piece should drop into the vitreous cavity. Some superficial lens matter is removed. And now this is direct chop. And now the handpiece is turned towards 3 o'clock, another chop. And this free nuclear fragment is emulsified. Now the handpiece is turned towards 7 o'clock. And one more piece is made free. And by this time the nucleus is mobile. So a thick shell of lens mass, epinuclear shell, is protecting the posterior capsule. Even if piscirant occurs, some soft lens matter will drop into vitreous cavity, which is easy to remove by a vitrectomy cutter. But if uh, nuclear piece and drops. It is very difficult to manage with counter itself. We may have to use phragmatome. We may have to use ultrasonic energy in the vitreous cavity to emulsify the nuclear piece. But if soft lens matter, epinuclear matter drops, we can easily manage. And now the epinuclear shell is being mobilized
very gently the epinuclear shell is mobilized and I find that the posterior subcapsular or posterior polar cataract has gently separated from the posterior capsule and piscirent has not occurred. And now I was thinking whether I should use the handpiece itself to remove this lens matter but I resisted myself, injected visco and I'm taking a Simco cannula to remove this lens matter. A coaxial IA can be used but irrigation pressure will be more with coaxial IA. So this instrument is a safer choice in such critical cases. So very gently, very slowly the cortical matter is being removed. We have not done hydrodissection but hydrodissection has occurred gradually inside out hydro has occurred and the lens matter has come out nicely. And now the antechamber and the capsular bag is filled up with 2% SPMC. In this case I have selected a sensor multipiece intraocular lens because if posterior capsular end occurs, the same lens can be placed in the sulcus. So this is sensor multipiece intraocular lens. It is placed in the cartridge. It is folded. It is placed over the injector. And now the cartridge is rotated clockwise first as the haptic comes out. As the haptic comes out and goes into the equator of the bag, the cartridge is now rotated anti-clockwise so that the optic of the intraocular lens is oriented parallel to the anterior capsule. And now the lens is placed in the capsular bag. This multipiece lenses uh, very nicely they uh, centered. Even if the capsular bag is large, these lenses can be used for beautiful centration of the lens in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance is thoroughly removed. And then a bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber. After that this side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. And this final lavage is done with 
balanced salt solution at this time a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium and the capsular bag is also washed out and the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will give you some very important tips to manage such cases.